If your child is struggling with math, you have come to the right place. Let me help you. In today's video, we'll talk about five common math mistakes that parents make and how to avoid them. Please be sure to like and subscribe for weekly videos. And if you are really serious about helping your child do wonders in math, I have a free ebook for you. And also an online course called Turn on the Calculator in Your Head that will help you get jump started in this process. You can sign up for both down below in the description. For now, let's dive right into it. Mistake number one is overlooking the basics. When you neglect to enforce the uh, fundamental concepts like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division, it creates little gaps in the understanding of your child and this makes it harder for them to grasp more advanced uh, topics later on. Mistake number two is fear of mistakes. Many parents uh, unintentionally instill the fear of making mistakes in their children and this impacts on their confidence and they are reluctant to do math. Now, for example, when your child is doing uh, his or her homework, you are constantly uh, correcting them on their mistakes or you are showing disappointment whenever they go wrong. This impacts on uh, their, their confidence and also it creates anxiety and re reluctance to do math. Mistake number three is relying solely on memorization. Now, while memorization has its place in uh, learning math, but relying solely on uh, memorization, it's a problem. It's like solving a complex algebra question without understanding the principles behind it or like building a building uh, without a solid foundation. Mistake number four is comparing your child to others. Every child learns at their own pace and when you compare them to others, it uh, puts unnecessary pressure and stress on them. For example, if you are comparing your child's math grades or uh, test scores with that of this child's uh, classmates, it, it loses their uh, confidence and motivation. Mistake number five is uh, neglecting real world application. Now math is uh, not just about numbers and equations, it's about problem solving and critical thinking. Now, when you involve uh, your child in let's say uh, cooking or budgeting or any projects where you can show them the uh, how math is relevant to their lives then it will increase their understanding also and they can they can relate math to the uh, relate math to problem solving let's dive a little deeper now mistake number one is overlooking the basics I'll talk uh, in examples uh, knowing for example knowing the multiplication tables this is a basic concept a basic thing but it helps a child uh, understanding the more uh, uh, complex level topics like fractions divisions it helps in mental calculations and without knowing your multiplication tables the child struggles in uh, the advanced uh, topics later on and another example is understanding place value is crucial for uh, children to uh, understand the size of a number and perform operations accordingly. Now, without a solid uh, foundation of place value, uh, children may struggle in uh, calculating large numbers and uh, problem solving when we are, when we are uh, dealing with larger numbers. If you don't have solid foundation of place value, it's very, uh, very difficult to see the difference of one small number and one large number uh, without, let's say, there is an eight digit number, another eight digit number, but the, but the point in first eight digit number is after two places and in the other eight digit number is after six places. This number is two digit number X, actually between 10 and 99. The other number is very huge number in millions. So there is no way you can tell the difference if you don't have that understanding. 
मिस्टेक नंबर टू इज फियर ऑफ मिस्टेक्स ना इमेजिन दिस सिनेरियो ऑफ अ पेरेंट हु कॉन्स्टेंटली करेक्ट देयर चाइल्ड मिस्टेक वाइल डूइंग मैथ होमवर्क ना द चाइल्ड फीलिंग अंडर प्रेशर ऑफ डूइंग एवरी थिंग राइट बिकम्स एंशियस एंड हेसिस्टेंट टू डू मैथ प्रॉब्लम इंडिपेंडेंटली now this leads to the lack of confidence uh, in their math abilities now let's consider this second scenario where a child uh, comes to a parent with his completed homework only to receive a disappointment reaction because of just uh, very little small errors few errors now this child absorbs that disappointment and associates this appointment disappointment with the uh, math failure now this child for 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 long time this child uh, is uh, reluctant to do math problems because he thinks if i do math i fail mistake number 3 is relying solely on memorization now consider a student who has memorized uh, times tables uh, till 10 by 10 but when a real world problem uh, comes and he this this child is uh, applying those multiplication tables he struggles so they they know the times tables but when uh, they do, they don't they they cannot apply that that same memorization uh, knowledge to uh, word problem where multiplication ta- table is required so uh, it's actually the lack of understanding of the basic concept of multiplication that it's a repeated addition or it's a it's groups of equal sizes so this this child has to uh, we ha- we have to uh, show the child all the basic understanding what's behind the scenes of multiplication otherwise uh, the student will never go beyond the rote calculations whenever there is actual problem where there is uh, understanding of the basic concept is needed this child will fail in that problem mistake number 4 is comparing your child to others now consider this a parent teacher meeting is going on it's a conference and a parent over here is other uh, teacher telling a parent and boasting about their uh, child's uh, very good uh, test marks let's say test scores and this parent uh, feeling under pressure of measuring up now starts comparing their child's performance or scores to the uh, to that of his peers let's say let's say now unintentionally they this parent conveys this disappointment and dissatisfaction to their child and uh, leading to the feeling of self doubt and uh, inadequacy if you will then now this child also starts comparing his performance math performance to uh, that of their uh, classmates and this um, i- impacts their self at- uh, esteem and motivation now this this child is not confident uh, to do math problems just because of always comparing his scores to other other uh, classmates mistake number 5 is uh, neglecting real world application now consider a scenario where a parent is helping uh, their child with math homework uh, that involves fractions now they are they are Uh, explaining the concepts of fractions in an abstract ways and using the examples and equations without without connecting that to real life uh, situations so the child struggles to understand it because the, because of the abstract nature of it however when the parent decides to bake cookies and then involves their child in measuring ingredients using fractions right away the concept clicks and the child sees the first hand uh, sees first hand how 
fractions are involved in real life situations and real life uh, real uh, world context now this shows the importance of uh, real world application in uh, math education now this this child seeing the relevance and utility of math in in the real world it creates the bond of uh, and love of math in him now that we have covered five common math mistakes that parents make now i'll tell you how to tips on how to avoid them you can do many things about that but i will tell you only two tips for each mistake so that you can remember them easily tip number 1 is establish a strong foundation before moving on to the uh, advanced topics or concepts try to uh, make the solid foundation of your child for addition subtraction uh, multiplication and division and tip number 2 is make regular practice sessions and for that you can use flash cards math games you can use different um, online resources but there should be practice sessions every child is different so whatever your child likes more just for that use addition subtraction multiplication and division uh, that's the that that's the topics and uh, uh, whatever suits them best flash cards or uh, homework practice practice sheets or worksheets type of thing or online resources or math games there are a lot of things you can do for mistake number 2 the first step is to promote a growth mindset now encourage your child to view the mistakes not uh, as the failures but as the uh, opportunities for learning and growth and uh, emphasize the importance of perseverance and uh, efforts in the learning process these small failures they they are actually uh, uh, stairs small steps to the success they want to reach now the second tip is you praise effort not just results now focus on praising your child's efforts the process the when when this child makes progress just the a little improvement and you praise them with your hard and focus on the problem problem solving strategies instead of just the right answers you got my point now this this reinforces the idea that this math is a journey not not only uh, yani they they had they have to understand that these mistakes are part of the process so there is no there is no wrong thing in doing mistake and mistake number 3 tip number 1 is emphasize uh, understanding over memorization now help them see the why in math instead of just the just memorizing the formulas and uh, procedures now when they when they know the concept or understanding all all the things that they have already memorized they can apply them. tip number 2 is promote active learning what does that mean now encourage your child to explain the same concept that you have told them to others they can explain this same thing they can teach back the same concept to you this is also active learning and they can they can make their own problems also based on that concept and this this creates deeper understanding and uh, retention of information so they 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 have they have math concepts uh, they, it becomes part of their brain or muscle memory if you will mistake number 4 tip number 1 is focus on individual progress now encourage your child to uh, as as every child is has different strengths and different challenges encourage your child to compare uh, them by themselves their own progress and their own uh, results or improvements instead of comparing their results with the results of their classmates and second tip is celebrate personal achievement now no matter how small it is set personal goals for your child they will they will set personal goals for themselves and then when they achieve it they can celebrate it it's the feeling of achievement and 
instead of focusing on the external benchmarks or grades or rankings they should focus on encourage them to focus on the uh, personal growth and development mistake number 5 the first tip is integrate math into uh, everyday activities encourage your child to incorporate this uh, math concept they learn in their uh, daily routines and activities now you can involve them in 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 cooking shopping uh, budgeting whatever the level of uh, the child is in math or diy projects whatever it is where they can apply math concepts uh, in uh, real life concept contexts second tip is involve them into uh, in uh, problem solving activities now uh, they it it can be it can be let's say uh planning trip it can be measuring the dimensions of the uh, home improvement project uh, anything like it can be uh, designing a budget whatever the level of child is when they will they will do real life problem solving and then they will do also mistakes in that they will they are they are uh, integrating their uh, math knowledge to the real world uh, context remember every child learns differently so it's important to uh, it, it's important to make your approach that is uh, that is compatible with their individual needs and uh, learning style that's it guys we talked about five common math mistakes that parents make when it comes to math education of their child and how to avoid them I hope you found these tips helpful. If you want more guidance and resources on supporting your child's math education, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to leave a comment below sharing your own experiences and questions related to today's topic. And if you want to know more ways of how I can help you, then click the link in the description. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate your time. Until next time, happy journey from math hell to Bad heaven.